Hello everyone. Welcome to Poesis e-learning and certification services. This is a new video session in the Internet of Intelligent Things series. And in this session, you will learn how to unbox Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3220SF Launchpad Development Kit and run a demo application pre-installed on it. This development kit from TI is based on Simple Link CC3220SF, a single chip wireless MCU. CC3220SF MCU comes with several on-chip security features. It is based on dual core architecture. There are two cores. One is reserved for user dedicated application. It is an ARM Cortex M4 core at 80 megahertz subsystem. The second core is a highly integrated Wi-Fi network processor. It offers rich set of IoT security features, including enhanced network security, software IP protection, secure boot, secure storage, and debug security. For detailed technical specifications, you can refer to technical documentation from TI website. The software tools required to set up this board are listed on my screen. XDS110 driver and TerraTerm terminal application. So first we will install both of these applications on our system and then we'll connect and run demo application on Launchpad kit. XDS110 is an entry level debug probe from TI. You can download XDS emulation software and driver from this page. On driver download page, you click here, click on save file. Once download completes, click on file to run it. On the setup window, click on next, accept the agreement, click on next, take a note of installation directory, click on next, click on next. We are ready to install now, click on next. Okay, so XDS emulation software and driver installation has completed successfully. We can click on finish now. In the next step, we will download and install TerraTerm. TerraTerm is a free and open source terminal emulation application. And you can download it by clicking here on this button. Choose one of the link. Wait for a few seconds. On this dialog, click on save file. Once download is completed, click on file to run it. Accept the agreement. Click on next. Next, let's continue with default settings. Then let's launch TerraTerm to verify the installation process. Okay, so we have successfully downloaded and installed TerraTerm. 
after the installation of required software tools, we'll connect our board to computer with the help of a micro USB cable. Connect one end of the cable to the board and other end of the cable to one of the USB port on your system. Initially, development board starts in provisioning mode. This is being indicated by this LED. LED is blinking at a rate of two seconds. Let's go to computer and look at the status messages sent by this development kit. On our computer, we'll open Terraterm, select Serial, select XDS110 class application user UART port. On my computer, number assigned to this port is Comet. I'll go to Setup, Serial port and send baud rate from 96002 to 115200. Click on new settings. Next, we'll go to board and press reset button next to micro USB cable once. Okay, so we have status messages being displayed in Terra term window. So board has initially started in provisioning mode. To enter into demo mode, we'll press S2 button here on this side of the board. Board has entered into demo mode now. Next, on a mobile phone or laptop, we'll look for Simple Link AP. As you can see here on my system, AP name is My Simple Link hyphen 4F3283. We'll connect mobile phone to this AP. Next, we will visit this website, http colon slash slash mysimplelink.net. On this demo page, you will find device information, SSID, MAC address, and IP address. There is a toggle button to control an onboard LED. We can switch it on and off. This area and the board image displays accelerometer functionality. Any movement in the board will be displayed here in this area along with X, Y, Z values. I will open this website on my mobile phone to record these functionalities. Once the demo page opens, we'll click on Start. Here we have control to switch on and off an onboard LED. The LED being controlled is here. off now. I'm switching it on. It's on, off, on. So this is one of the demo tasks. The board has application pre-installed on it and from mobile phone, from that web page, we are switching 
the LED on and off. Next, this chip has on chip accelerometer. To make any movement in the board, So if you make any movement in the board, same will be reflected and displayed on mobile phone, as you can see here. So this was the demo application pre-installed on Simple Link CC3220 SF development kit. Our development kit is ready to be provisioned. In the next video, I will show you how to provision it and how to build your own application, upload it and running on it. I hope you enjoyed this session. So stay tuned for similar videos. Happy learning.